Now any Sony fans out there will know only too well, you've got to have the patience of about a dozen Mother Teresas. We are well used to waiting for the good stuff. And that's especially true for VR lovers because the much anticipated PSVR 2 will not be coming until 2022 at the earliest. But looking on the brighter side, at least we've now got bugger tons of excellent PSVR titles for the original VR helmet to tide us over. Fancy an engrossing adventure starring cute little robots and creatures? Well, the PSVR has you covered. Or maybe you'd rather just blast someone's kidneys across the room with a shotgun or explode them into tiny pieces in the cold infinite depths of space. Not a problem with this shiny wee helmet. Of course, I say not a problem, but if you've actually tried to get the original PSVR to work nicely with the PS5 console, well, you know that it's an utter ball ache, but that's a subject for a whole other video, which conveniently I've already done. I'll try and remember to do one of those linky things up here if I'm not too smashed when I actually edit and upload this video. But anyway, I digress. I have played tons and tons of PSVR titles over the years, and here's my roundup of the very best that you can download right now midway through 2021. And for more of the latest and greatest tech, please do plug subscribe and ding that notifications, well, cheers. So my first pick for any horror fans out there is Walking Dead Saints and Sinners, a tense first-person survival adventure set around the New Orleans Bayou. Bayou? Bayou? From your base, which for reasons is a bus in a graveyard, you'll find yourself piecing together clues to find a legendary bunker filled with supplies to last a lifetime. All the while scavenging for food, bandages, weapons and materials that you can strip down and use to craft more stuff. Exploring the ruinous remnants of old, mostly deserted, decrepit cities is definitely the highlight here. You never ever feel safe knowing that undead brain guzzlers may be lurking around any corner in the shadows. Sometimes you can sneak by, but usually you'll have to take down those literally rotten bastards with a rare shotgun shell or a well-timed swing of a rusty screwdriver. And yet, you can't just poke that dull blade into their skull with some pathetic weedy jab. You'll need to properly whack it into their head to penetrate through the bone and end them gun and proper. It's gruey and disturbing and really f***ing awesome. And if that's perhaps a bit too traumatising for your taste, you'd maybe prefer a nice little calm, relaxing, puzzling VR adventure instead, then definitely check out The Room VR A Dark Matter. This casts you as a London detective in the early 20th century, where your mission is to track down a missing archaeologist. To do so, you'll have to trace his final steps and figure out a bunch of sometimes ridiculously intricate puzzle boxes, poking at buttons and twiddling knobs until you manage to unlock all the secrets. Being able to lean in and closely examine each object from every angle makes a dark matter even more immersive than previous efforts, where you once again have a selection of supernatural lenses to transform your surroundings with eerie results. The developers have really made the most of this platform. The room VR looks stunning and plays beautifully, sucking you in from the very first moment and keeping you gripped. Be warned though, because the room VR is also tougher than a week old chicken nugget that's got lost behind the back of the radiator. So if you're gonna turn off those built-in hint systems, then definitely get ready for some proper brain ache. Meanwhile, any adventure gamers out there should also get a kick out of A Fisherman's Tale, which is one of my favorite games on the PSVR and certainly one of the more original titles on that online Sony store. This casts you as a wooden puppet who lives in a lighthouse, naturally, and who spends his spare time working on a small wooden replica of the homestead. But one day when you lift the roof off, you discover a tiny version of yourself in there. And not just that, but your own home's roof has apparently vanished and now an enormous you is looming overhead. Just a wee bit of a mind f that one, but thus begins an intricate and engrossing adventure game that has you passing objects between the various incarnations in order to shrink them or grow them in size and thus solve various very clever puzzles. This game is a work of pure genius and getting through each chapter will definitely take some proper lateral thinking as well as some thorough exploration and a healthy dose of illicit substances. Factor in the surprisingly emotional story and the slick presentation and this is one of the best titles on the PSVR. Now if you ever fancy playing the leading role in a gritty cockney gangster epic then blood and truth will well and truly braise your beef. The plot is pretty standard, involving a feud between two gangster families, while the action does occasionally lull as the story trundles along. But those faults are more than made up for by the hyperactive over-the-top gunplay. Dual wielding pistols and machine guns while ripping through hordes of gangster minions has never felt so satisfying. Blood and Truth is packed with memorable set pieces and there's even the odd opportunity to be quite stealthy with a bit of lock picking and sneaking about the place. Definitely still one of my favourites here on the PSVR. And if you can't be hacking all of that plot shenanigans, getting in the way of just blasting a load of morphos in the face with a shotgun, pistol, whatever, then definitely check out a bit of Pistol Whip. 
This frenetic action title has you sniping enemies to the beat, rewarding you with mega points for slaying your foes in perfect rhythm. It's a fun arcade blaster that's perfect to pick up for just 10 minutes, although make sure you clear some room as you'll end up rolling about all over the bloody place trying to avoid all those bullets. And the devs have very kindly expanded the original game as well with the fresh Pistol Whip 2089 DLC, which adds a kind of a story mode which serves up fresh enemy types, guns and challenges. And another action-y, shooty type PSVR game that's well worth checking out is Super Hot, though it actually plays out more like a puzzle game at times than an actual action title. This slick slice of VR has you killing every morpho that moves, but they only actually move when you do, so if you stand stock still, time will stop with you, allowing you to plan your next move. And considering there's generally dozens of heavily armed bastards after your blood, that is definitely a good thing. And if you can't get enough of blasting pixely bad dudes with a shotgun right in their kidneys, where well, you can always grab the super hot complete bundle, which comes packing that mind control delete expansion. Now I've got to admit, I usually struggle to muster up any kind of enthusiasm for anything involving golf and general golf and shenanigans, unless it also involves windmills, pirate ships, and a shed load of booze. But that kind of changed when I stuck on the PSVR helmet and tried out everybody's Golf VR. You got few courses to blast through and the game features are pretty straightforward, but for golfing novices like myself, that simple gameplay is welcome. Stepping into the dimpled sole shoes of your golfer makes the experience more enjoyable, with your swings and putts expertly tracked using the Move controller. Just be careful you don't tee off just as your mum's wandering by with tea and biscuits. Now even though it's getting on a bit now, in fact I think it was one of the very first titles actually played on this shiny Wii helmet, one of my all-time favourite PSVR games is still Astro Bot, which first introduced us to that super cheerful Wii robot dude who's now starring in his very own PS5 exclusive. Astro Bot would have been perfectly fun and painfully cute in standard 2D, but this VR title transports you into those vibrant worlds along with your charming robot compatriot. You'll find yourself ducking giant bullets and headbutting your way through structures as you steer Astrobot to the end of each level while actively seeking out secrets. There are five worlds in total to conquer, each with their own mega-sized end boss that absolutely towers over you. They are terrifying despite their cartoon appearance. And even after you see away that final end of game boss, there are still plenty of challenges and other little hidden secrets to track down, so this one will keep you going for yonks. And if you're a fan of that 3D platform and action, and you also rather like naughty words, then you'll probably get on quite well with Trover Saves the Universe. Justin Roiland's cuss-heavy action game is packed with all kinds of gross and memorable characters, just like Rick and Morty. In fact, fans will recognise Roiland's voice work in this title, along with the same smart and sick humour. Gameplay mostly involves twatting enemies and jumping about, with the occasional light puzzle to solve, but let's face it, we're all here for the dick jokes. And if that tickled your gooseberries, then also check out Virtual Rickality, which is even more ridiculously bad taste humour in VR form, this time playing out like an immersive interactive version of the telly show. Now everyone loves a good rhythm game, and of course on VR one of the best and most original titles is good old Beat Saber. Grasp those move controllers and use them to smack the living daylight out of coloured boxes in time to a funky beat. Jaroslav Beck's soundtrack will get you jumping all about the place, as will the massive walls which come flying at your face to make it even more tricky. You'll definitely feel like an absolute boss when you finally beat each level on that hard difficulty setting, and even when you master all of the original songs that come bundled with Beat Saber, there's shed loads of DLC on offer now as well, which offer a lot of tracks from the biggest and best bands out there, and also Panic at the Disco. Now I already mentioned Walking Dead Saints and Sinners back at the start of this best PSVR games roundup, but if you do like a good scare, you reckon you've got bowels of steel, well Resident Evil 7 can be played through in its entirety in virtual reality form. And it's absolutely f***ing horrible, seriously, but in a good way, maybe. Resi 7 took things back to old school horror, pitting you against a supernatural gang of rednecks who want nothing more than to tear out your kidneys and use them as happy sacks. It's horrifying enough on a flat screen, but when it's right in your face, well sir, I'm afraid I may have just gone ahead and soiled myself, permission to blub uncontrollably. Yeah, knives and chainsaws coming right at your face! I gotta admit, I completely wussed out and tapped out of that game when you have to fight Jack in his little thunderdome in the basement, but other people might fare better. And while we're on the subject of horror, another shout out as well to Lairs of Fear, which is more of a walking sim, but it's still quite tenth throughout its sadly short duration. Now, speed junkies are certainly well catered for by the old PSVR as well, and one of the best games you can grab in that case is definitely Wipeout Omega. 
Now, if you've played a Wipeout game, you'll know what to expect. Incredible pace, stylish graphics, and pulse-pounding music as you whip around each of the 26 tracks at breakneck speed. Except now you really are in the cockpit, or just outside if you choose the third-person view. Like Resident Evil, Wipeout Omega is bound to make you ruin your undercrackers, but this time through pure joy and excitement. And another fast-paced PSVR title that's well worth checking out is Star Wars Squadrons, a space dogfighting game that pits you against your real-life mates in online multiplayer chicanery. There's a single-player campaign with some memorable moments scattered throughout, but the real joy is blasting your great mate Dave into shiny wee specks of space dust in that online effort. There's a selection of spaceships, including TIE fighters, interceptors and bombers, plus loads of craft mods to help keep you alive and make others less alive. I give it 9 very dead Daves out of 10. And fans of multiplayer VR shenanigans should definitely check out the older Firewall Zero Hour here on the PSVR. This strategic first-person shooter will definitely scratch the itch of any Rainbow Six fans after a tense and addictive experience. Your mission is simple, one team of four people must protect a laptop filled with super strength Dutch porno while the other team of four has to nick it. Teamwork is essential for success and each completed contract brings you much needed upgrades for future shindigs. And last up I've still got lots of love in my otherwise black and bitter heart for the excellent PSVR adventure Moss. This short but challenging PSVR game can be completed in a few hours but it's full of charm and wonder just like the aforementioned Astrobot. You'll be solving puzzles and battling baddies, all that good stuff, and the slick presentation really draws you in. So that right there is my roundup of the very best games you can download and play on the PSVR right now mid-2021, but definitely a shout out to lots of the other titles that didn't quite manage to scrape it onto the final list. Stuff like Skyrim VR, which is very good if you're not absolutely bloody sick to the back teeth of Skyrim by now, and I Expect You to Die, which is a short but very silly and enjoyable sort of puzzly adventure thing. And of course Tetris Effect, which is, I mean, it's bloody Tetris, but in VR. And let me tell you, if you play that one, on uh, the PSVR for about an hour or so, take it off, you'll be strolling down the street, you'll still see massive weirdly shaped blocks flying at your face, it just kind of embeds in your brain like some kind of weird tumour. But anywho, did I miss off your own personal picks of your best favourite PSVR games right now? I bet I did, in which case definitely let me know what a massive cockwomble I am down in the comments below, and for more on the latest and greatest tech, please do pog subscribe and ding that notifications bell, and have yourselves a fantastic rest of the week. Cheers everyone, love you!